Welcome to Everyday Woman. So it's time to buckle up and take charge, face those imperfections. How do you do it, Cheryl? Well, you know what? I've, I'm fortunate to have been blessed with a very, very healthy dose of confidence. Mm -hmm. So quite frankly, I don't let mine bother me all that much. Mm -hmm. um, a funny story I think of is um, a, you know, a while back, my ex-boyfriend and I, um, he was my boyfriend at the time, we were you know, hanging out on the couch at my place and we decided we wanted to go grab some dinner. And so we looked like, we, we left the house looking like we just came off the couch. You were couch potatoes. We were couch potatoes. <laughs> uh, and then we, we, drove in, we drove into town and we saw this restaurant, the Gaucho Grill, and we decided, you know, why don't we just go in? So we went in there knowing good and well we looked like crud, mm -hmm. uh, but we sat down and we had a meal. And since then, it became a, tradi a tradition of ours to actually go back to that restaurant and intentionally look like crap. And it didn't matter because it's like, <laughs> wait, no. wait, hold on. She said she want to go to the restaurant and look like a bum. <laughs> and, and, and and like, where's like, where this restaurant located? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Downtown Long Beach. <laughs> she didn't have a reservation. Uh, she no no, she got no the reservation. But look, you, I barely had shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, wow. you, I find it really interesting, though, because coming from the fashion industry as a model, where a lot of times these differences or these imperfections were celebrated as uniqueness mm -hmm. you know their eyes are a little too close together they've got this gap tooth and all this and their exotic beauties and for me and most of the women I know we look at ourselves in the mirror and we think oh you know something's wrong that. with me I hate this I gotta change that I wonder how much it costs for a nose job when <laughs> how old do I have to be to start my Botox I mean I see everything wow. that's wrong with me and it's really hard to think that those are things that make me individual or that I should celebrate. Well, I think sometimes that um, it starts with, with our parents and our brothers and our sister, our siblings mm -hmm. and our family. That's um, true. Because growing up, I had, I had a grandmother and I loved her, I love her dearly, dearly uh, now that she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a happy thought. Now that she's gone. <laughs> I mean, God bless her soul. Bless her, mm -hmm. Emma. <laughs> Okay. But one of the things she used to say all the time is as I was getting older, you know, I have freckles mm -hmm. and I had them a lot as a kid and she would look at me and she would look at me and go, ugh, you know, and then she'd move uh, on and that was her thing. We have know? a lot in common, Madison, because my grandma used to tell me, she, you know, I used to love popsicles and like ice cream sandwiches and she'd be like, girl, you're going to be as big as this house, girl, because I have a she big booty. Yes, too. yes. And if I can get my booty sucked, I would just a little bit. <laughs> I and some people want to keep their stuff, but I would like to get mine sucked up a little bit. But she used to say, you know, you keep eating those ice cream sandwiches, you're going to be as big as this house. And I was skinny as a toothpick. Right. I lived in San Francisco. I walked up hills and mountains. No, no, no. How oh my God. Like, Really? The thing is, though, did it give you the complex? Were you worried about being imperfect in that? Mm -hmm. As far as my booty, <laughs> right. like I want. I mean, but I think it does. It plays with you a I little think, bit. Yeah, I mean, I now now that I'm older, you know, my daughter has like she's you know age. She has a little pop belly, and I'm like, ooh, you know. But I try not to make up a song or tell her not to eat popsicles. I really want her to make enjoy up herself. a song. I, 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 there was yeah. a mom. She used to make up a song like, ooh, that big belly, and so. <laughs> My niece does the same thing. <laughs> See, <laughs> they get that when they get eight like, years old. Wait, look, your, your niece does the same my, thing my to you? My niece does the same thing to me the other day. She's only two. But and she was singing to your belly? She, she to my belly. You know, when like, I'm touching it, I'm like, uh. After, uh, I, after I, my son took, was about four, about a year ago, and I'm, I'm a fit person. I consider myself to be extremely fit. And my son looked at me, and I had gotten a, a little chubby. I was kind of depressed. I had just started my divorce. Um. And, um, my, and my son looked at me and touched my belly, and he goes, Having another baby, mommy. Oh. You, you touch your belly? <laughs> yeah, you know. And he's going, you have another baby, mommy. And I went, oh my gosh. Well, what I, am I gonna do? I think my whole point to like my niece doing that to me. Like, let's get real. I lost 160 pounds. Yeah, right. for you. Obviously, thank you. But mm. obviously, it that was my like. I have a lot of imperfections, and that's mm. one of them because I still I still struggle with that. You know. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I can't be looking at all my imperfections. I I've learned to embrace them. Right. And that mm -hmm. is one of the reasons that I ended up, um, you know, being on the cover of that magazine that I actually took. And I said, okay, you know, because. You, you know, celebrated what's, what's those this, curves as you skin. should. Yeah. What's the right. stereotype of being on a cover? Skinny, right? Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, I you know, I got a corset on and I got a I have a Coca Cola a body, but I would love for my <laughs> hips and like just my booty just to get. Maybe that's, I'm still on that tip. <laughs> right, you just are. To get like a little Thank firm. You, like, like I want the muscle. I want muscle there. You want a few less minutes in your hourglass? It jiggles sometimes, but I was teased. I was teased. But sometimes, sometimes women look at. Generally speaking, they did a survey. Women look at 
what's attractive and we tend to look at what's on the thin side mm. including our men yeah. the men look at what's attractive they tend to look on what's on the heavy side right. men that's don't true. look at cosmopolitan and go that girl right. is hot they look that at that so you, you know mm -hmm. you know what i think is really that's interesting true. though that's in true. this conversation is that when we are referring to imperfections we are all talking about our bodies and that's really telling of where wow. our focus is because none of us have talked about our imperfections and you know our habits or our personalities or what, our what? lifestyles. What are you talking about? So yeah, true. exactly. I mean, I don't have any. That's I'm not speaking point. from experience. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, that's a good point. But you know, yeah, because, because it, it does start from the outside. Because a lot of times, what mm. we feel on the inside is what we reflect and see on the outside. That's why we focus you on know, the outside I, because it's the easiest mm. thing to hit first. Thank you, Dr. In Madison. terms of work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in therapy right now. It's like they told me to look in the mirror, and they, you know, and my therapist at one point did say that. He said, you know, when you look in the mirror, what you're seeing in, when you see these imperfect reflections is really just what you're struggling and what you're fearing inside of you and those are the imperfections that we have to deal with that's the only way we're ever mm -hmm. going to really embrace and love the perfection in mm -hmm. our own perfection you know what now that i'm older though i don't yeah. really want to take that much ice cream sandwiches in. i mean because now i know the outcome <laughs> is my big butt but i, think, but I, I liked think, what anna was saying earlier because mm -hmm. sometimes what can be perceived as an imperfection is what makes you beautiful Wow. Yeah. So yeah. it but. is kind of learning for yourself because if we look at ourselves in pieces, we can all break each other apart and break ourselves yeah. apart. But yeah. what does it look like as a whole? Mm -hmm. And what does it feel like as a whole? Mm -hmm. But if I was to like look at myself and pinpoint at an imperfection that doesn't have to do with my looks, it would probably be that I'm too hard on myself. Wow. Too yeah. hard on myself. And that's truthful. Myself. And yeah. I had to have somebody here tell me that. So I realized yeah. that. You know, well, I was like, oh man, it, she's right. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I did make a New Year's resolution to drive around with a clean car. <laughs> inside and out. Wow. Not doing so yeah. well with that. Oh, <laughs> no, thank you. Well, watch for your shiny car at the valet. We'll be right back. <laughs> Coming up next, more Everyway Woman. I'm going to go and live my life. That means working nine to five.